Here are some Java and Gradle improvements of the Eclipse IDE 2019-09. Because Java 13 was released only one day before the Eclipse 2019-09 release, Java 13 support has not yet been built in. The current preview of the Java 13 support can be installed via Eclipse Marketplace instead. Let's have a look at the improvements of the built-in features that have been added since the last release in June three months ago. The Java editor provides new quick fixes. For example, a new quick fix, Control-1, to initialize final fields, either if there is no constructor at the declaration or in all existing constructors. With another quick fix, for loops iterating through a collection, can be converted to an enhanced for loop. This quick fix is only offered if the for loop can be converted, which is not the case when, for instance, iterating not through all elements or when modifying the collection inside the loop. In the same way, the source cleanup Convert for loops to enhanced works now not only on loops with arrays, but also on loops with collections. Also, the source cleanup, remove redundant modifiers, has been improved by additionally removing abstract modifiers on interfaces. There are two new source cleanups in the unnecessary code section. Use autoboxing and use unboxing. The Java formatter offers more options for handling blank lines. Now you can set for 20 instead of 12 places whether blank lines should be added and if so, how many. Most of these eight new settings can be found in the new subsection Blank Lines Within Method Constructor Declarations. For all blank line settings, there is the new option to remove excess blank lines. Remove excess blank lines is not available for selected numbers of lines greater than the number of empty lines to preserve, as the excess lines will be removed anyway. In Java, code templates, comments specifically for modules, can be configured. Tags is the placeholder for the uses and provides javadoc tags that are generated for all uses and provides module statements. In the console, it cannot be ensured that standard output and error output is printed in the same order as it is produced by the Java application. In Java launch configurations, a new option has been added to avoid such wrong ordering. In the tab Common, check Merge standard and error output. Unfortunately, as a side effect, this disables the red coloring of the error output. Java launch configurations have also been improved to override the patching of a module. Assuming in the Java build path a module has been configured to be patched, in a Java launch configuration, in the tab Dependencies, you can override this as well by pressing the Override Dependencies and editing the given Java command line argument. Performance improvements can be seen, for example, when compiling projects containing very large files. Here, for comparison, the same project which contains generated Java code with large files in Eclipse 2019-06, the previous release. It is still compiling, while compiling in Eclipse 2019-09 started later and is already done. By the way, a full build is now triggered automatically when the JDT core preferences file is changed. This is helpful, for example, when getting changes made by someone else via version control. The JUnit that is shipped with Eclipse has been updated from 5.4 to 5.5.1. 5 
This gives you, for example, declarative timeouts via the timeout annotation. Of course, Eclipse supports newer and older JUnit versions too, for example via Maven or via Gradle. Speaking of Gradle, there is a really useful new feature. Debug as Gradle test launches a Gradle build that executes the selected test in debug mode and automatically connects a debug session to it. As you can see in the debug view, this works via Java remote debugging. Another neat new feature of the Gradle support is that dependencies of closed projects are replaced with dependencies to jars that are automatically built during the synchronization. These were some of the Java and Gradle improvements of the quarterly rolling release September 2019. The general and Git improvements are shown in a separate video. If you have missed some versions, you might want to watch the previous videos too. Thanks for watching and happy coding!